Hi, it's Clara here from ultimatephysiquetraining.com and today I want to talk about uh, building upper body strength. But let's talk about just building strength in general. So one of the things that women really shy away from is strength training and uh, most of the time it's because they're scared they'll become big and bulky which is um, further from the truth. I mean it just doesn't happen. But that's a video for another day, okay? So as we get older um, and as we transition through our menopause, uh, perimenopause, postmenopause, etc., it is essential, it is essential and a non-negotiable that you must do strength training or include strength training into your weekly exercise sessions. In fact, strength training should be the priority, the first thing that you must do before all other forms of um, exercise, okay? So you must prioritize strength training. Now, how many times a week must you do strength training? The minimum should be three times a week. That's the absolute minimum, okay? Um, uh, the duration of the strength training is not really the issue. It is all about the quality of what you are going to do in those sessions, okay? So for a beginner, I would recommend that they do more um, full body strength training workouts. Um, if you're a little bit more advanced, then you can start splitting it up into upper body, lower body, or specific uh, muscle groups. But the key and the point of what I'm saying here is that strength training must be your priority. It's the number one thing. Um, because let's face it, as we get older, we do not want to depend on anybody to pick us up off the floor, pick us up off the chair. You want to still maintain your muscle mass, your strength. And right now, the age that we're in, um, I'm approaching 55 in two weeks time and everything. Our muscle mass is declining and it, it really declines rapidly the older we get. OK, so. In this video today, I am going to focus on upper body strength training because that is the question that I get asked the most is, Clara, how, how do we strengthen the upper body? My upper body is weak. I can't even do one press up. I don't know if that sounds familiar to you. So this is what we're going to do today. OK, now the video is going to have commentary because what I want to do is I want to talk you through the technique and how you position yourself and what you must feel, uh, fit it in into your weekly um, workouts and everything. You can do this twice a week, in fact. Uh, so maybe do a leg day and then another day or another two of your other sessions can be the upper upper body, especially if you're weaker on the upper body, you must prioritize to really strengthen that area uh, and everything. All we're going to use today is we're going to use a simple dumbbell, that's it. You might need a mat, not not you might, you will need a mat um, on the floor because we're gonna do some press ups and things uh, and everything. So you can use a mat or a, a towel. Um, and what I want you to do is I want you to do three sets of 12 for each exercise. Now the last lot of exercise that you're gonna do is something called a superset, which I will explain within the video itself, meaning that you go from one exercise to another. So you immediately go from one type of exercise to another, that is one set. So you wanna do that three times over. So I hope this, uh, I've explained myself a, a little bit clearly. If, you, if, if not, if you're not sure, please comment um, below, ask me questions, um, and I'll be happy to, to answer any of your queries. Without further ado, let's get on with the video and I shall see you on the other side. Okay, here we go. Single arm dumbbell row. Grab your dumbbell from the floor. Here we go. Position yourself. Create a lower back arch. Look straight ahead and pull that weight towards the hip. So aim to pull the weight towards the hip. Now we want to drop that weight down in the bottom portion. Full extension on the elbow. Keeping the movement nice and strong. Slow down your tempo so that you can get that technique absolutely correct. 12 repetitions one side, 12 the other side. Keep going with that. And bring that weight towards the hip. Change sides. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to position myself in exactly the same way I did the other side. 
I think was the right hand side I started. You can there now in that position, you can really notice the lower back arch that I've created. My chest is up. I've got a little dip on my lower back and I lock in that position, ladies. Lock it right in. Keep everything tight. Weight coming towards the hip. Remember, 12 repetitions each side. Take your time. Keep going with that. That's it. Keep it nice and tight. And that's Alrighty, it. Alrighty, now we are on to the dumbbell floor chest press. I've positioned myself on the floor. Um, the dumbbells are in line with the armpit. Elbows flared out. What I'm doing here is I'm pressing the dumbbell directly over my chest, creating kind of a, a triangular shape as I go up. And what you're going to notice is the tempo is slightly different. So we're going to use a little bit of time under tension, right? So what we're going to do here is we're going to press up quite fast and slowly come down one, two, three, all the way down. And again, up for a count of three, one, two, three. And again, we keep going with that. Again, we're going to do 12 repetitions. We take our time, ladies, do not go too fast especially if you are getting tired. I know you want to finish the exercise, but let's keep going. Tighten the abs a little bit as well whilst you're on the floor. Keep the tempo going. Keep the technique absolutely super tight. Okay, moving on to the standing dumbbell shoulder press. Standing with your legs or your feet hip width apart. We're going to press that weight over our heads. As we come down, if you can notice my elbows, they're just going just under the shoulder. You can have them in line with the shoulder if you want to keep the movement a little bit shorter, right? I'm pausing at the top for a couple of seconds, pausing at the bottom for a couple of seconds. Again, we're going to do 12 repetitions. Take your time with the tempo and we're going to keep our technique super, super tight. Tuck in your eye or tighten your abs a little bit as well. Keep going with that. 12 repetitions all the way through. Okay, let's move on to press up on the knees. Set yourself up on the mat. We're going to have our hands directly underneath the shoulder, about mat width apart. We're going to bend our legs and cross our feet at the back. And we're going to go straight, pushing away from the floor and pressing our chest into the floor. Notice my hips are absolutely still. It's not my hips pushing into the mat. It is my chest. 12 repetitions again, chin off chest, smooth movement, spot on in terms of technique. Okay, our final exercise, the superset, bicep curl to tricep extensions. So you're going to curl up your dumbbells from the thigh all the way to your shoulder. Make sure your elbows are slightly forward, elbows closely pinned to the body as close as you can. Take your time, have a look at your biceps, make sure they're contracting as you bring that weight up. Keep going with that for 10 repetitions and then we'll transition straight into the triceps extension, which we're doing now. I'm going to go to the side so you can see me a little bit better. Here we've got our elbows pinned to our ears. We are dropping that weight towards the shoulder blade, extending the weight all the way up, straightening that um, elbow. Make sure you don't shortchange yourself and do partial reps here. Do it all the way. Take your time slowly. Make sure those elbows do not flare out. Tuck in those abs nice and tight. Do 10 repetitions and we're done. Okay, ladies, we are done and dusted with that upper body workout. I hope you found it useful. I hope you found my explanation and my coaching useful. If you've got any questions whatsoever, as I said at the beginning of the video, please feel free to ask questions. I will um, jump in and answer any questions that you might have. Um, so I'm going to reiterate one more time, ladies, please do not be scared of starting or incorporating um, strength training into your weekly exercise routines. Uh, you are not going to get big and bulky. You are never too old. I know many, many people who started strength training at ages of 70 and 80, etc., and it's vastly improved their health. So please do not be scared, okay? I'm here to help you. 
I'm here to encourage you uh, and to move you forward. So please comment, subscribe, like, share this video. And thank you very, very much for watching me all the way through. Um, also give me suggestions of what type of videos you'd like to see um, and everything. And um, have a lovely day for the rest of the day. And I shall see you in my next video. Take care and goodbye.